have 10 seconds left. You have 5 seconds left. Dire Team Ban. Radiant Team Pick. Seconds left. You have five seconds left. Radiant team, pick. seconds left you have five seconds left dire team pick you're on <coughs> hello and welcome back again ladies and gentlemen hello and welcome mega league Coast versus infamous you gaming we're hopping into it left. right now trent how you doing man you having a good hello one? oh yeah doing great left. uh been a little bit of a break i see you guys are watching some reruns waiting for us but we're here it's time and i know you weren't waiting for us you're actually waiting for beast coast versus infamous game <laughs> do you have the air horns ready this time i, can... I want to bring them back out did them with my I don't know if you could tell, but I... No, no, I actually had no idea. Um, but uh, this one should be good. Uh, I feel like SA is just a really fun to watch right now. Thoroughly enjoying it, especially those like top team. It feels like anyone can kind of beat anyone in the region at, at like the top four slots or so. So I, I'm always looking forward to these little uh, regional matchups. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you guys did you play together uh, fairly recently. If I'm back through their game a little bit long yeah they actually haven't played in forever never mind don't listen to me they haven't played no i See never do it's all right don't worry <laughs> but yeah a lot of uh have the time picked overall but marana you have 10 seconds action left. to the pretty much bane gets you have five seconds left that like no i haven't yeah, I'm not sure why we don't see more Bane, uh, frankly. I feel like the hero is still pretty good. I guess, like, some of the other fives are um, perhaps a little bit more wanted or, like, have that flexibility, like the Clockwork, for example. Like, Clockwork just went unpicked. Uh, but one of the parts of Murana that's so good now is that they couldn't necessarily just go for that Clockwork right now because then she can get out of the cogs, and then you've got Tiny who can maybe do, like, some toss plays. Uh, we've seen uh, Infants also play the Bane lately, so they're feeling comfortable with it. Uh, and then Beast Coast, we've, I believe we saw Whisper Tiny recently, too, when we've been casting them. So they have, uh, yeah, so a little bit of flexibility with this Tiny. Of course, they're very happy to just toss it onto Schofield, too. No matter what it is, that hero is no matter what position probably least out of the middle Dire team up in the i don't know there's like a, there's like a sweet spot there in the, the tiny where you get a quick blink dagger if heroes are blown. kind of appear to be right now yeah for sure Brian, you know you have 10 seconds left. I was just uh, curious because this, this league's really been like growing you in terms of like left. the number of games. We're just getting so many matches across all the regions. So the stats are all starting to compile, which is kind of exciting. Uh, but uh, in terms of like uh, any anyone with a large sample size of picks, uh, like the highest win rate over like 50 or whatever, Venomancer has 79 games and is at 60, almost 61% win rate. Nerds. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. And then after that, it's clockwork. So not shocking that it's those two heroes, eh? Definitely not. But they're still winning. Like, 
high win rate. And then another guy who started out being banned in the game, Doom. I mean, he's a little below 50%, but I'm part of that reasoning is that he also has been like first phased and banned and whatnot since like the very start of this qualifier. So oftentimes if you do get him, maybe it's not like the best Doom game, but uh, I'd be surprised if he doesn't get picked up here. So I still feel like he looks pretty good because they're having off laners getting banned out right now. Right. You mean in this particular... Yeah, yeah, no, I just mean in this game. Like, he wasn't first phase banned, so he's, he's out there. Pop first. Yeah, I, it's... They already have some... Be a little bit crazy. You have anticipating that to be the Whisper Tiny or something. Even I like Support you Tiny versus uh, Queen of Pain quite a bit, too. She's someone who really likes to just like jump in and um, like dedicate herself to that part of the fight. And if Tiny hasn't uh, exposed himself yet, it can be quite dangerous. So you have a couple choices here. You don't have last pick anyway as Beast Ghost, right? So pretty much you should just be matching. Oh, they all right. So they go the other way and basically they just reveal the. I guess they reveal the Tiny's a core. Uh, not necessarily where it's going to be and they, they're gonna get a little bit more info before they go for their other core heroes Which kind of makes sense because like the tiny is flexible I guess you hypothetically if They could also put you have Whoa. Seconds left. That is yeah, I mean I, Both of those heroes benefit a lot from the bloodlust you know? mm -hmm. That might be one I agree but <laughs> I, I wonder if they're setting are they Ogre Medusa, I wonder? Or like Ogre Gyro? Like Gyro sounds kind of nice, right? You see the Phoenix. Uh, then again, maybe you don't necessarily want to go for the uh, that one big target versus the Bane. Wait, Rubik's been ignored too? What is this draft? Fun. That is strange. Like, we're not going to pick good heroes. I guess it just looks weird because like the fours got picked so early and the Tiny and the Phoenix. But it is, man, I just feel like Rubik has been killing it every time we cast it. Radiant team pick. Yeah, I, 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 I not really think about if like Rubik. Like. Less. You have 10 seconds Heroes. left. Well, uh, what is this? Why do we have a PL? Is this hero good? Sucks now. I mean, he feels like he sucks. I like this. I want this hero to be okay. Well, that's not true. When, when PL's really broken, it's not that much fun for anyone. But I'm surprised that they they went for it. I see they also picked it a bit earlier this week versus uh, Thunder Predator, and it didn't go too well for them either. But uh, I mean, PL in this map, like you have. Ogre's single target for the most part, but I don't know. I'm, I'm a little surprised at the PL pick, you especially because now the left. only flex they have left is if this this uh, Queen of Pain is going to be an off lane or a mid, or I guess the Phoenix could also be an off lane too. Hey, actually, a bad. ban out that jar. I feel like Mirage. Damaged. That extra bit of con Germaronic likely you have ten seconds left. Pretty gross. I guess that's what the axe you is. You have five seconds left. Yeah, there's a little bit more pressure on those like earlier arrows. TA and Enigma ban. Enigma would be a very strange pick. You have 10 seconds left. Because then, what would you even be doing? Setting up for the Phoenix to like you leave have the lane? Five seconds left. Radiant team pick. Yeah, weird. Okay. Well, AM ban. Good choice. Uh, Void's gone. Spectre's gone. AM's gone. Troll's still in. Gyro's gone. Uh, Terrorblade's still in, but we don't really like him. 
uh, versus PL. He's not a fan of that matchup. You have 10 seconds left. Uh, tch, 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 tch. You have five seconds really left. Really, one counter him unless you're going for like an Ember or something, right? Like, like some speed or like Leshrac, but then that again puts the, the Marana to the one. Yeah, Troll's like the only carry that is like okay with this, I guess. Even that's not fun. Yeah, it's not like a counter pick, really. Out. Kind of the same thing. It's like a bit of a whatever. I guess the, the thing of ill set. Oh, that was smart though, because they banned that Enigma after the Beastmaster and the Legion were banned. Left. So that's the three offlaners of the BKB piercing stun. So now he has spin left. TP. Yeah. But at least there's like only one hero. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Ah, oh, two and heroes. Is. That's a good one. How? <laughs> His name is Doom. All right, cool. It's a pretty good Doom game. And Chris Luck will be on that Marana. Cool. Ah, oh, I like one Marana. That's pretty, or two Marana rather. That's pretty fun. I. It just oh. like was this. Hey, Mo, Mo, I didn't even look. Moose is it? Wait, wait. What's going on, with Beast Coast? I was not looking at player names this whole draft. And is there any K1 and Schofield could not make it. And that's Moose and Tomato. Well, that's hilarious. I was literally not looking at the right hand side at all. Okay. I just looked over and looking to see where Schofield was. Like, where? Why is this a Moose Tiny? Okay. Huh. Well, that's good news for Infamous. Hector and Schofield not here. Um, that's a little. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Did anyone tell EGB? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get in on this? Is this a conflict? It's always. I feel like I didn't even look until the end of the draft. So I like <laughs> the viewer had more info than I did. That's often one. Uh, yeah, I know. We, we can't though. The conflict, people, the conflict. It's only 2.2 odds, so I think they knew. I feel like the odds would be uh, much worse. I feel like it'd be like three or four X with the, the normal rosters. No, 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 with the, with the normal rosters, I think it would have been three or four X. That's what I'm saying. Because, you know, they're good. You fought badly, died I'm excited worse. for this one. This is good. Um, I think that, so that what, Cause I don't know. Feels like you need to buy upon Marana get you some draft now. But yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, it's harder from the core because he's gonna rotate later too. So like, if you like the earlier, uh. Marana, like position four or something, there's probably a better chance at actually hitting some of that stuff, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it feels like he's right clicks. Spell casting, right arrow, Marana. It, the, 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 the early. Because infamous. I mean, even just. I really want to alt ping the, the my pause tip. It's stay calm and polite, and you'll have better success motivating your team. Great advice, guys. Gilly. <laughs> They're speaking. <laughs> They're not talking about you. Now that it's about you, Gabe. Earlier here. Uh, adorable. Which one? Uh, 
Akas Right, Scott. What? I have not. I have not seen it yet. I see. Oh, it's the only. I would. The only one that's moved so. Oh, oh my God! Get it. The little refresher orb thing. That thing. Oh, it's the uh, battle pass one, right? Got just the. War oh, that's a good one. That's a trusty courier right there. That guy is gonna get you the goods. You know. I was like the um, the immortal war dog, whatever it was called. I like that guy. It was like a little juggernaut mask dog thing. Pretty cool. Wait. Oh, it's a mythical. Cause I've had this one. Oh, if it was the base one, still. Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, the base one's still the donkey. What, what were you thinking? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You know, cool couriers. This is a pretty fun one. The one that um, Dark, well, Tomato has. The uh, unusual Grim Sneer. Whoa. Good luck in TI6 EG. Tomato. That's what some guy sent to him. Wow. This guy had the faith. We're on the radiant side now. Oh, here we go. We're gonna need a, uh, we're gonna need a price check on this here. Let's see, Grim Sneer. This could be yours for just 84 cents, ladies and gentlemen. That's like nothing. This exact one. All right, let's see who has the most expensive career. Well, I guess the Battle Pass ones are probably the most expensive. Uh, so here's an interesting like trading uh, like sort of sport mm -hmm. this it's like hockey sticks or yeah. baseball bats that they've ever bounce on the market if you could like individually attach a number to this this is the guy was using you know what i mean oh yeah yeah that would be that there would be some value there i think there would be do you think people would buy it i miss heroic items personally Remember, remember when we when like we first started watching on tickets that if something happened during a game, it would drop items and they'd be tagged with the event. Oh, that's really. Do you not have any? You must have some. Man, you must have just missed it. Yeah. No, they were they were legendary. When I first started casting, you could get them while you were casting too. I, I still have like a whole collection of them. I have. I have one from. Well, I don't even know. I have a lot of them. Those those things. I'm waiting on those button. Those bad boys. Why? Why did they go? I don't know. They were really cool though. I guess maybe. A... Let's see. Well, a lot of them are weird because of the if the names were changed, like uh, I have a uh, G of Vega Squadron scored a triple kill against We Are Young on December fourteenth, two thousand sixteen. But and then I, they would be worth more. How many would go? Uh, not many, I don't think. But they used to drop for like every event that was like above a triple kill pretty much. So if you were in a lobby that would like with like no people, you used to get a bunch of them. Some people have like hundreds of them or maybe dozens. But I think that that's right. That like. That way, it like. The player gets it for sure. The player that did the action. Oh man, they'd be making bank. This is how right? Valve can subsidize the other, the rest of the exactly. scene. Exactly. <laughs> uh, if and anyone would like uh, Black of <laughs> Team Faceless, as you know, the famous caster, uh, he did achieve a godlike streak against MVP Phoenix on the 6th of November, 2016. And I have the Necrophose Scythe to commemorate it. If you'd like it, just hit me up on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I get. Yeah, they're they're neat. To to me, that seems start sort of internal friction with, right? They stole your rampage. That that rampage would have been millions of dollars a couple of years. Well, and then they have a <laughs> then they have like a thing literally talking about how they just rampaged on you. Yeah, you know exactly. Bring it back. Bring back heroics, Valve. Save us. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, dear. 
is normally the last level is bright sky is this yeah this? the little cat isn't that the current one i guess that would make <laughs> i haven't looked at you don't have a favorite courier could i uh yeah haven't you what i mean <laughs> Back in. Oh, yes. <laughs> is this is this good content? How many do, how many do you have? <laughs> so I got hex skilled guy guardian. I oh we're back! Thank goodness. Or later. <laughs> I have official update. From the CEO of Beast Coast. I see he's sending this on mobile, so he's very dedicated. He wanted us to know that Schofield's power went out and Hector's at the doctor. So they really, they were planning one stand in and they needed two. Damn. A rolling stone. That, that is rough. Thoughts, Hector, are right now. Find true. No Holy moly! Sort of <laughs> triangulate your positioning. Now, in thoughts. order to find true north, how, what do you do in relation to the North Star? Because I can find the North Star because I can find the Big Dipper. And then if you take the two final stars on the end of the Big Dipper and you draw a line straight up, that's the one. It'll find the North Star for you guys. So you can use that when you get lost. It was good enough for it's sailing. You guys one. will be fine. Yeah. Okay, it's not that bright. Don't don't go following Venus now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You're gonna get them lost you, here. I swear it was the other way out. last night. I don't know about the North Star, but I do know about this game, and we're gonna get some battling over huh? here. What? <laughs> All right. The, the battle begins. Look. <laughs> Back though. Start for him. Stinger. To get on over to the side here, eats up the range creep, and now the pressure is being put onto the dug right at the start. Man, like tomato. No uh, surprises in these uh, these stand-ins, eh? You kind of know what uh, what they're all about. I mean, tomato has uh, quite the history with Infamous, right? You know, maybe maybe they don't like him. Maybe there's some bad blood. <laughs> Well, no, you couldn't say that's true, actually. <laughs> that's possible. <laughs> I'm sure it's mostly good blood. It's okay. <laughs> Great good old blood. Okay. Well, zero, zero. Uh, we got the bounty set on Bane. Lanes are, as you'd expect, we're going to have a bloodlusted juggernaut throughout the game. Farming up. Who's the big carry? Phantom Lancer. He gets a whole wave under tower. As Whisper is messing with him while moves and Excel. Now, this is um, the power of Bane. So this is another reason why you pick Bane, right? Someone who can actually come back here and contest and be a real nuisance. Really hard to. Oh stop man! From happening. Chris Luck didn't know that he had no blink. Or else he could have just left on him and killed him. Has he not screamed yet or something? I guess. That, I mean, that's the only explanation. Yeah, yeah. It, it looked like it looked like that was pretty free. Not gonna take the Saw up there as well, Estelle able to Already level two. Take that one creep back. Testing for Top lane? -uh. Yeah, it looked like they were trying to go for a toss onto Excel, but got himself hidden in the tree line. And who's kind of on him again? He runs up. No toss, though. Trading? Trading? Fairy fires? God. They not backing down. It's Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, just 15 HP. 
Yeah, so, so quick math. Michael's uh, courier goes down. Nice one, Stinger. Killing a courier as Ogre. What a player. They have level two spin. Yeah, but no dive, I guess. Oh, sorry, dive is up, so they can't punish. Last it's under plays so bottom lane appears to be going on both cores. Axe is a having a good game. Dyer's top tower is under yeah, attack. I mean twelve point five HP regen with a level one devour and a tango. Still holding the other point. He actually goes for the uh, scorched earth. Okay. Doesn't want his uh, 50 bonus gold. Sometimes I'll see Dooms do it just because, like, the timings match up. Like, it looks like it's like, oh, I'm not going to get killed on this before I'm level 4 anyway, you know? Hypothetically, this will look better of, like, camps. Look at, look at these runes, by the way. Sorry to interrupt, but they just rotated Stinger from bottom, and then Moose was up top, too. So they had the double support rotation to ensure that that wasn't going to be there for KXY. I might take... Now a tiny moving back in. Toss? Yeah, no, Whisper was not into that. <laughs> like, I'm just going to go south, man. I, I don't know. Maybe we can get him, but it's kind of risky. Oh, top lane, too. Pressure. They got a toss back, but... Fairy fire, trying to live. They got... Fine. Yeah, he didn't have call. Uh, he was just about level four. If he had call, it probably could have got him with the wave. If, as long as he got a little bit lucky with the spins. Bottling. Little bit of a chase from Excel. Trying to make this work. They're going to get the nightmare. Get free room. Well, that's by the Bane in mid lane. Oh, Doom too. We'll get the kill and he he's dead. Pita, he's gone. Stinger going to burn out. Burn him, burn him, dead and done. And Chris Luck will also file. Got all three of those. Adam will. Moose has tranquil boots and is catching up to excel okay no excel's gonna bank to the right as the ward comes down that probably saved his life so this matchup up top has been fairly interesting though because podcast is using the uh doppelganger to get rid of the battle hunger but whisper only put one point in the battle hunger so then he has the three points in the spin and then he catches them on the bonus illusions oh man he is lucky he didn't get caught there that was a lot of damage radiant structures are fortified pressure off battle hungers Now with the T. Back over. They're gonna try and pressure this. Maka's onto him. Avalanche goes out, but Whisper not able to save his life. At the same time, mid they uh, get a dagger and a dive. It's a level three dagger plus the dive, burning half of Chris Lux HP, forced to burn his leaf back under the tower. Damage is at 70 and it's 90. I don't even think that the raindrops are that much. I guess any other burst damage that comes out will help him. Yeah, it's just going to get burned on down. That is a level 6 Queen of Pain with an Arcane Rune though while she's level 7, but she's hoping to make that rotation with the, the uh, Sonic Wave. Currently doing 350 with the Null. Afterward, they're gonna smoke mid to try and catch her when she comes back in. Dyer's middle tower. So, to if they did let a rune, it'd be a lot easier to set up the arrow. But this will be a hard catch because she'll at least have the uh, the arcane blink. Oh, that's arrow. Good. That was pretty. Sick. They're gonna make this play. Get the kill on the ground. Afterwards, I was nice and done. Yeah, not expecting her to just blink in. <laughs> Unk dead. Whisper gets the kill. Yeah, oh, that was the, the really close bizarre. on the fresh. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Wait. 
What's the threshold on level one? 250? He got the kill with it, right? I mean, it's... It... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just think how close that was. Man, that looked close. <laughs> It, they, this like trying to get rotation kills and not working out. They they needed that one on the KX Wild. They didn't get that one. Her game. Dyer's top tower is right under attack. It fights for its life. Fifth lowest net worth. Dagger. Man, there was like let, there was a he had two thirty six HP. That was how close that was. Fourteen HP, and he had just ticked twelve from a battle hunger when he like cast it a tenth of a second before that was a that was a risky one but obviously well worth it well done whisper they want this tower though they want it bad first michael the dive interrupting it possibly he does have supernova if they want to be absolutely insane but it's not even gonna they, be an they want to waste supernova <laughs> <laughs> With these three heroes here. Oh, he's going for the deny. Oh, they couldn't see it. They didn't know. Not enough for both. A thousand gold lead so far. Looking good for Beast Coast. There is still this sort of little vector of. Oh, is that a tower is under attack. start to his game? Spectre's band. Out of here. Yeah. I feel like you knew I was going to say that, and I still did it anyway, so no take that. Yeah. Tower is fading fast. Yeah, a uh, little depressed. <laughs> Just blame it on COVID like everything else. My jokes are running low, too. Much like my endurance. Moves, though. Ah, there's a main coming. Oh, he doesn't have Nightmare. Oh, yeah, it does. All right. Sorry. I keep forgetting it's switched. Whew. Brain. My brain for the first second was like, wait, what? Happening. Fun little. You know, I'll just say I, I like the fact that they switched to Q. Because if you really care, you can change the hockey on the hero. But for anyone who's coming in new, no one wants their spells to be on W and E. And then the blank one is Q. That's just like, what is that? But I, I will say when I play the draft now, I put in feeble. On that's understandable. Hard for me to. We rely not upon fortune. Part of that's because I haven't played. And I assume you meant nightmare, but I let it go. It's okay. Yeah, that's what you meant. It's all right. Dyer's middle tower yeah, is I got gotcha. you. Thousand gold. Radiant spark has grown. Uh, so. Oh, perfect. Now we can analyze. Is it worth defending bottom lane? So we have Doom. He's got the mana burn. They have a catapult and they know they have supernova. Uh, I think they know that Phoenix is down here. I just saw some circles go down, but I'm not sure if they're aware of the full extent of like what forces could be there. Then I think there's more heroes as they uh, they have a smoked queen and a smoked bane. So they probably think they're like all here if I had to guess. Now, Stinger has the Fire Blast build, so sometimes versus double melee, especially, you might see more points in the Ignite, but it was a Phoenix and a Doom, and damage over time isn't really that good versus Doom because he has so much HP regen, so. Uh, I always like this build, too, because it just feels way better when you're level 6 and level 7 because of the 75% chance to 2x with the Ignite. Uh, sorry, I mean with the Fire Blast when you're trying to catch someone like a PL and a, a Queen of Paint. Uh, I, I think this is savable, but the only thing is, oh, that, that scan. That was a really good scan. Because now they know that someone's rotating in here. Oh, okay. I thought they might uh, try and make a play off of that. At least it means that uh, Stinger can move out. Because he feels confident that it's not like four heroes bottom. Bottom, Doom, trying to dive in on this one. Chris Luck in the area. Where'd they go? Out. Shadow. Lots of Papilla. A little bit scary to get on this one. And yeah, Beast Coast can just back out. They're farming across all three. Infamous is... Yeah, they're just waiting for a Fire Blast into Arrow. If it's uh, opened up. Nightmare. Arrow lands onto the bane. Okay. There. Meanwhile, Supernova has still not been used, but he uses Sonic Wave. Blow up one. Stinger pulled back in. They get the dump with a huge call. 
interrupt it. They don't have enough damage, though. And now finally the supernova comes out. They're just going to blow up this egg, though, in a moment. Dunk one. They managed to find the kill. Three oh, deny. Dead. Deny Chris Luck. Oh, man. And the fourth falls after. And the courier. <laughs> Dude, they completely demolished that. That was gross. With the deny is the cherry on top, too. That was a, uh, a rather horrific engagement there for Team Infamous. I That's going to set you back. I don't think you get a better blink. No. And what a timing, too. And that's like blink first can be a little bit risky sometimes if you uh, like first off you mess up the first blink uh, or just like doesn't really speed up your farming progress. But uh, that obviously was exactly what you needed. He got three heroes there. I was surprised he didn't spin more. <laughs> I think he only got like three spins. He got like one per hero. Well, and I think that like, look at these setups too. So far, it's been the hell of like timing, hitting them from East Coast and Info, kind of uh, either messing up or missing. Kill under the Ogre Raid. But you think about like that Queen of Patients are out and not half dagger timing that like. And I don't know if you're if you're infamous. Taking this tower good. Something I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if I am infamous right now, I'm just like praying for the uh, the defusal and hoping that we don't need PL before that. That's all I'm doing, basically. I think that this game looks really, really good for Beast Coast. Is that? Oh yeah, that that's uh, that's a blink dagger for Moose, huh? <laughs> Damn. All right. Oh man. That's the danger zone. The, like, they have double blinks at the they have 14 minutes. Alright, well, let's see what they can do. They're gonna run. Don't have vision. Ground whisper. Scout him, avalanche toss, and the call, and the dunk. The arrow gives them strength to feel comfortable walking forward. They're going to trade off the Nightmare with the Tiny. Chase down Excel. He also is going to die. The Beast Coaster just running wild. Ooh, Stinger almost got him. And they have a Juggernaut. Right? <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. He doesn't even have to be in bold. Dylan. That's what's so good though is that like you think PL is gonna be like the big hyper carry because it's Phantom Lancer But if Jug gets this much space and isn't necessary and gets that battle fury on the earlier end then can still pose a very real threat to a Phantom Lancer As well as keep pace Paka's built Then in diffusion Good for like fighting now -ish, I Yeah, that's at least Healing with the bird and trying to probably eventually go satanic too to stack the status resistance um has to contend with a lot of uh, stuns Dyer's bottom tower here couple of these rotations while back towards mid they get the doom on the axe gonna try and chase him down Vita eyes on him but that's getting separated from the rest of the team so they will likely get this kill on the axe but look at the omni slash yeah. coming out on both of them unreal that was costly. Uh, I mean, it's a good target because he had the streak going, the 4x streak, and KXY does get it and get out, so this might not even be that bad gold-wise. Yeah, I mean, for a double kill, it was actually still more XP because Queen of Pain got the kill solo. I guess they died first. Yeah, I, I think that's worth. Okay. Um, and that catapults her up to level with the rest of the Radiant Core. Definitely need catching up in the... in terms of this net worth. Oh, oh man. She's struggling. Ruse. Back there. He had his courier up to kill the ward right then. I get a sentry down and... Oh, I, wait. That was a sentry ward. Oh, there's the ops. Okay, the ops is off to the right-hand side. I see it. Eggs <laughs> next, maybe? That uh, whoever was uh, position for was it zoomers. 
Yeah, I can't remember who it was. So at least they're getting these items that are like pretty effective for output, which problem is they keep getting demolished by this like bash bro dagger squad. It's just so much damage, uh, especially if there's an arrow follow up, they can kill anyone, Doom included. And he's like the tanky guy. Dire structures are fortified. The trees, dire is under attack. Dagger now is for its life. Okay. At least it means better initiations. Well, and so counter initiation too. Storm. Yeah, he's about to go get the war stomp. They're gonna smoke. Do they have the defusal? Oh, he's so close. Okay, they're gonna smoke with this defusal. They're gonna have war stomp, stomp, war stomp, stun, uh, and then they. Best case scenario, Beast Coast or Roshi. Uh, other than that, just finding a fight that's favorable will be very big for you when you're down 8k. But it's doable because Doom can cancel out someone. And then he still does some like other stuff too, so. Problem is they just found the Doom. They're gonna toss him back. Does get the hoof stomp, but the call is there afterwards. Omni Slash, but the Nightmare won't be enough for the sake. Arrow. Now right is over there to whisper. The chase is still coming. He's got the defusal. And they jump in and they call and they catch. But there's going to be the turnaround. Sonic Wave going to land on all oh, of them. Big. Supernova afterwards. Trying to bring it down. Can they do it in time? The egg will pop. Burning through the mana, but the healing ward still keeping him alive. Turning it back around. Killing off the PL. They didn't manage to kill the healing ward still. Bob blinked in to take it down, but it doesn't work. Oh, no. And Michael falls afterwards. Oh, no. How did it go so wrong? Selfish. Yeah, it was the uh, we're just down that far, you know, they just have those little bits of health ahead of you One thing that's really good is that they've also spent a lot of their gold It's not like they're sitting on like an empty 8k lead situation I mean there is on the Marana sure but like you just have these little items like you have the glimmer you have the bracer on the axe Kind of stuff that makes the difference is uh, Chris Luck will grab another one there on the Pepita About to wear off now Man, tough stuff. Dinger Doug whisper up some uh, valves here, so they're ready to go. Oh, perfect. Whisper's going back to this ward is about to get its third kill, I believe. Is it already got the Phoenix and it got the Bane before? And all right, well, PL's out, thankfully. Yeah, they ping it there. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It may yet stand. Dyer's bottom tower hopes Take gold lead. Coast looking incredibly solid. Yeah, they really are. Just, uh, I mean, they're the, like one of the easiest ways to play Dota, like when you're maybe like having stand-ins or you're like playing a pub or whatever, is when you're just like winning and snowballing and you just, you're so much stronger than them that you, and you have the better initiator. So you're just like running around the map, just kind of, I mean, it feels like a pub. You know what I mean? Yeah. It feels like a pub where you're winning, where one guy's AFK farming the whole time and you're just running people and just jumping and going for kills as much as you want because you're so far ahead. But the reason why it works here for them is that they're also just doing it at a very fast pace. It's not just like this casual Dyer's pub pace. It's like the, okay, go. Side. Like, this is the target. Everyone run there right now. Yeah, it's quickly identifiable. Get together, make the moves. Get out together. Road was taken. Keep down this. This get a little bit testy, uh, depending upon how this all ends up working out. They're gonna come and continue this life. So should get this without much issue. Whisper looking for the jump. He's not. not disclaimed. Oh man, Moose actually... even dropped a ward for this. Come on. Leave him alone. Value, you got a ward out of him. <laughs> the uh, Lincoln's was also discovered, and he, uh, he did not waste Fiend scripts. That was good.
You need pressure coming from Beast Coast. <laughs> yes. Great. Uh, nor should he be. Unfortunately for Infamous, their options in this game are dwindling very quickly. But Echo's tower has fallen. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. I I, I, I kind of think it's. I, I am sort of with you on that. The thing that does interest me about it is like that little slope you get, you know? I mean, to me, it just looks like a way to. Like he's just gonna build something that else, you know? Is he really gonna finish it? Yeah, he's not gonna finish that thing. He's like, no, this is stupid. I should buy the Shadow Blade first, at least. It hurts. Yeah. All right. Well, Infamous claim back their shrine after the tour. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It may Places. stand. Uh, this is a tough one. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Don Nye's name. Another one. Paul <laughs> and done. It doesn't take long. <laughs> Hello, anyone so, home? I think that was the, uh, I guess it was the Chinese or not. Doesn't look like anyone's coming. No, I don't think. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Arrow, but find the call and the Queen of Pain. Ooh, slept. Jace, hey, Del, they're actually making this work. Sonic Wave comes out, they get the kill. Crystal looks dead. They will bring down the Bane afterwards, but maybe a hope and a chance here. Have they gone too far? Oh, anyone else? Not the Jug. Can't get him. Oh, and Stinger. Oh, he doesn't end up. Infernal Blade. That was the key. so no buybacks necessary, and they would there take down Chris Luck. That's not no certainly not say that it was uh, well played by Excel. Like he like popped Lincoln's backed up and then caught her under tower too, just for the additional damage there. So a little bit too far up there from uh, from Chris Luck. He took 740 damage from tower. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll just go back to the mule near so. Toss, Paul. Seen that before. Yeah, I. I guess the only play here is to just have Bane. Bo <laughs> That's pretty solid advice. Oh, bounty room top. Uh, he doesn't have any way to set this up though. Thought maybe he'd go for the play. No YOLO arrow, Chris Lock. You've changed. Oh, he's in there. Pay for it. Oh. Still fault. No. <laughs> oh, wait, that ward. <gasps> Dude, that oh, ward. the ward. The value the ward. ward. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, they're, he's going to reveal on the creep. Not if he walks left. Oh, 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 he spotted. They see him. the pings. They see him. The ward. Da -da. What's, What's over here? <laughs> What's happening? Hello? Oh, they're, they're, pain pain? they're not coming. Oh, wait, oh, they, they see her again. Oh. She's back. Is oh, she baiting? Is ready. But did you see the way she walked twice? Dyer's top tower is under attack. Well, regardless, they got the TP out of them. Close. We're clinging on to very small things in a match like this. 15,000 gold lead. Seven kill. Oh no, 99%. Total plus, please. Fast, man. Wait, jump in. Yeah, I missed Bell, the contact. Live in, barely. Dodges the dunk. No, he canceled it. He canceled the dunk. What a player. Now the jump in, trying to bring down that quad. Obliterated so quickly. 
Fire Blast into Michael being chased, but they try and turn this. The big hook stuff, trying to keep a Lavia, but it was not meant to be. <laughs> and the Sonic Wave only gives tickles. Oh, it hit Tommy five, Flash though. Afterwards destroys Axe. He's going to go down, but it comes at a hell of a price. Michael is going to be chased. Michael is going to go down, I think. He's burning to the ignite. Oh, he's got enough regen, it looks like. Maybe. That was a really good at padding the stats for Queen, though. That was 2,250 pure damage. You can add to her hero damage now. So we're taking that off on her total, on her final total. Okay. It didn't do anything. You know, stats will lie. The way that works. I think so. Thunder uh, trying to save Pepita, but it'll just doom himself. And yeah. Not that rushed. Wow. Um. So, what do you think the story of this game? Uh, the like, blink reveal. Okay. At 12 minutes, just kick things off really well, and uh, Infamous just didn't punch back. They